a little over a week ago, I uh, went to the cancer center uh, where I get my carotage uh, done. The, the, the um, wound care specialist lady, uh, she uses this little tool um, that looks like an ice cream scoop, but it's very, very tiny. And uh, she roughs up the, um, uh, the blood uh, or she roughs up the skin inside my wound and, and gets it to bleed a little bit and, and hopefully uh, my body will um, uh, make cells, you know, make create new cells to try and heal things up down, the, down where my wound is. Uh, my wound is on my left uh, buttock area. Um, they have a, a, they have at the cancer center, uh, and I don't have cancer, the cancer, at the cancer center they have a chair that is, um, uh, controlled by, um, uh, a remote, uh, you know, like a little hand control type of thing, and, uh, so you can lower the back, and you can, uh, raise up the legs and then just do all sorts of different things to that chair and so what I wanted to do with that chair was pretty much put it as, as straight as possible whenever I was uh, uh, getting my curatage and, and it's you know, uh, the chair is about the same level as my, uh, as my wheelchair so it's not a very high or low transfer or anything like that uh, it's not very difficult um, what I had to do here is I have uh, uh, a clean catheter uh, and I use that as my um, belt uh, to hold my pants uh, tight so my pants don't fall down. Uh, I'm missing the button right now. But um, the, uh, so I, I was, I took that, uh, took the uh, clean catheter out, the clean cath, um, um, tube out and uh, you know, out of my out of my shorts out of uh, the loops in my shorts and and um, and then I was able to uh, you know if I needed to I was able to pull down my pants because she was going to curatage um, the left buttock area where there's a, there's a surgery hole there um, so anyway I just thought I would show transfers down to the uh, down to the chair and up uh, back from the uh, chair back from the exam chair back into my uh, wheelchair and uh, I also would also decide to show a little bit of how how I hook up the um, the clean catheter um, uh, you know, I, I loop that into my shorts so that my shorts will be tight. Um, what I do is I have to lay back uh, whenever I put the, whenever I run the clean catheter uh, through my shorts because that way my my pants, my you know the pant the waist pants uh, will be I can pull them tight and uh, you know I can run the uh, clean catheter uh, hose through the through the eye hole of the of the um, of the shorts, and I can also run the clean catheter hose through one of my um, loops, one of my belt loops, and then I tie it off. Uh, you know, and then I pull the ends together and tie it off, tie the hose together, and uh, it's it's pretty darn tight and it works just fine. And that way, it also and it's also nice because then if I need to catheterize, then I know that I have a catheter with me, you know. And, and uh, the good thing about it is, is, is the uh, catheter, the hose doesn't really get too messed up or tight, uh, screwed up whenever I'm doing it, or whenever I tie it, or whenever I, uh, I, you know, looping it around things and stuff like that. Uh, hose doesn't really get too screwed up because sometimes whenever you kink up the hose or whenever you turn the hose a certain way for a long time 
And what it does is it uh, makes it so that the uh, 